Think black holes pull you in? Think again, they're more like cosmic rapids. Try as you might, if space is falling into the black hole fast enough, there's no escape. And at the event horizon, the point of no return, space is falling in at the speed of light, flowing faster and faster as you get deeper. This may sound disturbing, because in relativity, nothing is supposed to be able to move faster than light. But space is no thing, so there's no issue. And this is not merely an analogy either, it's an exact description of a static, non-rotating black hole. It's mathematically rigorous. This formula is called the golstrand panlevé metric for the Schwarzschild spacetime. From this perspective of spacetime, it's almost like pure special relativity, except space is flowing. And that makes it easier to understand the strange features of black holes. So let's look at some of those strange features and explain them. The first, and perhaps most obvious, is that if the space is flowing into the black hole at the speed of light at the event horizon, then, try as it might, a beam of light would never be able to escape at or beyond that point. After all, the best it could do is cancel out the flow velocity of space. And that just amounts to sitting still, never actually leaving. Another strange feature of black holes is that light emitted near the event horizon is redder than the same light emitted far away. This is gravitational redshift. As the emitting object approaches the horizon, light emitted by it takes an ever-increasing amount of time to forge against the inrushing torrent of space, and eventually to reach an outside observer. And that means that the distances between the peaks and troughs of each light wave gets bigger, and that means the light waves get redder. There's also the phenomenon of spaghettification. You may have heard of it. It's that thing where you get stretched out into a noodle as you fall into a black hole. In the flowing space view, it's pretty sensible. If you're freely falling in, your speed matches that of the flow of space. But space is flowing faster the closer you get to the black hole's center, so if you're falling in feet first, they'll be getting pulled in faster. You'll feel stretched. Eventually, that stretch will pull you apart, rather painfully. Then there's time dilation. Suppose that you're hovering near the event horizon some distance away. From your perspective, space is flowing underneath you at some speed into the black hole, and from space's perspective, you're moving out at the same fixed speed. That's what you measure your speed relative to. If you take that speed and plug it into the Lorentz factor formula from special relativity, that indicates exactly how much time dilation you'll experience relative to someone not moving relative to the space river. In particular, very far away from the black hole, the river isn't moving much at all, so it tells you how much more slowly your clock ticks than that of a distant observer, gravitational time dilation. So next time you're struggling to understand what's happening near a black hole, perhaps thinking of it as a cosmic rapids will help develop your intuition.